I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. For those of you who are new, my name is Stephanie. I am in my second week of my last semester of nursing school. I am in an ASN program. This semester I have med surge and it's clinical, so I'll have that for the next 10 weeks until about the end of October, I believe. And then I have leadership and it's clinical for the last 10 weeks until I graduate in December. So I thought that I would take you guys along with me this week. I did start last Monday. It was a busy week. I kind of like wanted to get back in the rhythm of things. Um, and so I didn't film last week, but I thought that I would take you guys along with me this week. And, and we'll see, we'll see what the week has in store for us. Today I do have lecture from nine to 11.30. I woke up pretty early this morning. I woke up around 4.30. I want to kind of like get used to waking up early again. I do have to wake up at 4.30 for clinical on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because I start at 6.45. I have to be at campus at the hospital, which is right next to my campus by 6.45. So I do wake up around 4.30 on clinical days anyways. And so I kind of like try to keep a good rhythm throughout the week and just wake up early every day <laughs> um and regardless i do like to leave my house early on mondays and thursdays when i have class at nine just because i rather miss all that traffic like a minute past seven the traffic gets really heavy and i much rather get to campus early and just sit there and just like review anything that i need to before class 
than sitting in traffic for an hour and a half. I mean, it takes me about 40 minutes regardless without traffic. So yeah, traffic and me just, we're not friends. <laughs> like, I don't know who is, but um, yeah. So I do plan on leaving here within the next 15 minutes or so. I'm just gonna kind of like fix myself up a little bit. I am gonna put some sunblock on. I use a Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Face uh, sunscreen. I am trying to start using sunscreens just like made from zinc oxide. It's just better for you, I hear. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna mix some of this. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not really catching it really well but it's the Hylamide Glow from The Ordinary. And so it gives you like a bit of a tint and it also, this sunscreen is very like thick. So it kind of just like makes it easier to apply and not so, not so thickums. I also put some on my moisturizer, but a little bit more. It won't hurt anybody. So I can look a little tan especially since I don't really wear much makeup when I go to school. I do put a little bit of concealer on, but I don't really put anything on my face. If anything, I'll put some of my CC cream, which is also tinted, and that does have SPF too, which is nice, but, but we're not gonna really do all of that. Today, I'm just gonna put some sunscreen on and some concealer, which I use the Color Science Total Eye 3 in 1. I love this stuff, it's gold. It's a pricey, but it's gold. Just put a little bit there. This also has SPF. Gotta protect the face, y'all. And I just have to remember to wash my hands. And if you do use this, guys, wash your hands after because it can turn your hands like orange. So I do have to go wash my hands. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna just brush these brows a little bit. So I really love the Glossier Brow Boy, but I ran out. And so Ulta was having a sale and they had this for like, 10 bucks, which is really like 24. So I went ahead and grabbed this one, but I don't like the applicator very well for some reason. It just, I, I don't know, I don't like it. It makes my eyebrows look kind of weird. So I grabbed the applicator from the Glossier and I just grabbed some product. Kind of being a resourceful here. And then I use this applicator to kind of just brush the brows out a little bit. I do have to get my brows threaded again soon because they're looking a little out of control. And as you guys can probably tell, I hate light in the morning. Like I really do. I spend my morning just with night lights and, and lamps on, which they say is not the best because light is kind of what like wakes you up, but my cold shower is enough. Thank you very much which I struggled with this morning. I was so cold, but it helps and it does make me feel better. And then just some mascaras. Some mascaras for these lashes so I don't look so dead. And then of course I use my telescopic carbon block. Love this thing. And so we'll go ahead and we'll apply a little bit and I do use the applicator for my old mascara as well to just brush them out. Cause I don't like using too much product. I don't like them looking so crazy. So I just apply a little bit and then just brush them out with the other applicator. Oops. All right, easy peasy. I'm gonna wash my hands right out of here. Probably make myself another cup of coffee to go. And just sit at campus until nine. Fun. All right, so I will catch you guys once I get there.
right guys so we just got to campus it is 7 45 now thank god i left early because halfway here it started pouring i couldn't see a thing <laughs> but we got here safe and sound thank goodness um about an hour and 15 minutes to spare because classes start at nine but i do want to review a few things we are going over renal right now and last week we discussed uh, ckd aki so chronic kidney disease and uh, acute kidney injury and we went over some dialysis and started uh, bph and i know that this week he's gonna start kidney transplant and um, i guess go over some more treatments our test isn't until next thursday um, but I'm just going to go ahead and review what we went over last week and just prepare myself for lecture. I have my coffee, so I will just sip on that until my friends get here. They should be getting here soon anyways. I like to get here a little early as well. Um, but yeah. All right, let's go ahead and head down. It's not raining now, thank goodness. So let's go ahead and get inside before it just like falls down on me again. Right, guys so we are now back home from lecture it is about 12 20 now i was supposed to have my nail appointment today at 12 and then a hydrofacial at 3 30 but my nail lady rescheduled me for thursday and so my original plan was to come back home and prep a little bit uh, some meals for the week before my appointment at 3 30 but then they called me while i was on my way home and asked me if i can come in at one and i figured why not We'll just get that out of the way early and then we'll come back and prep. Um, I did want to make some breakfast when I got home, but I don't think I'm going to have time for that. So I'll probably just have like some yogurt and fruit. I did have me this protein banana muffin while I was still at campus. I made them last week. And so I took one with me and we did get let out of class a little early. We finished the renal system. And so my friends bought something from the cafeteria and we just like sat and they brought puppies to school today. They were from Animal Rescue. They were so cute. So we just like sat there and ate and just like chilled with the puppies. And I just came home and changed. I took my makeup off to prep myself for my facial. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that and then come back and make some meals for the week. And I don't know if I'll get any studying done today. We'll see. I spent the entire weekend studying, and so, I don't know. Um, we'll see. But I do have clinical tomorrow. I have to be up early again for clinical. Um, and so I might just kind of, like, chill a little bit. Maybe listen to the lecture from today just to kind of do, like, a review while it's still, like, fresh in my brain. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have me some yogurt because I'm kind of hungry and hopefully that'll hold me over until I come back which shouldn't be too long it's only like 30 minutes or so so I'll catch you guys <laughs> all right guys so we just got home from our facial feeling like a brand new woman <laughs> um so a hydrofacial if you guys don't know is kind of like a facial mixed with microdermabrasion mixed with exfoliation just like all in one um it's supposed to like really lift all of the impurities the blackheads just like everything <laughs> from your skin and i love it it just like leaves me feeling so 
fresh and clean and I have a lot of blackheads like they always have to go back in and do manual extractions because they're just like deep in there um, but what they do is they use this wand and use like serums and acids so my facialist uses glycolic acid and the wand penetrates this I mean it's a non-invasive procedure it doesn't penetrate the skin but it, it infuses the skin while it sucks out like the impurities so it's like a you know two-in-one in that sense and then you're exfoliating as well as you move the wand around the face but it's a lot quicker than a facial and it doesn't leave you as red as a regular facial either so I like it because usually when I had regular facials I mean I, I like couldn't go out that night not that I really go out but if I had something going on like later that day or even the next day I was still always so red from the facial um and yeah now I just look like super glowy but not really red at all so I love that um so yeah we get one of those every like four to six weeks especially since I wear that mask like all day at work and when I'm at clinical she said to get this like spray she gave me the name um but the, this hydrating mist to just like spray on your face throughout the day so you don't feel so dry my skin is very dry as well but yeah the hydrofacial kind of helps with all of that i feel so soft and hydrated after and i mean it's just one of my self-care routines like i gotta get my facials but yeah we just got home i'm gonna make something to eat because i'm hungry and i really have to pee and we're gonna start prepping for the week. All right guys, so we started our prep. I did make some ground beef and steak already, but we make that pretty much every week. So I didn't wanna bore you with that. Um, I am trying something new though. They're like tuna fritters, but waffle style. I found it on Pinterest, so we're gonna give it a try. It looked pretty good. So I'm using some canned tuna. I drained it and put it in a bowl and using one egg, some minced garlic, a lemon, and some pork rinds. I am using the hot and spicy pork rinds that I get, a little twist. Um, and it does call for mayonnaise, but I am using Greek yogurt instead. It is a good substitute if you're looking for one. Um, I only have a little bit left here, so I'm just gonna use what's left. It does call for like three tablespoons. I'll link this down below for you guys, a recipe in case you wanna try it. We'll see how it comes out. Um, but you'll also need some onion powder, some salt and some pepper if you'd like. And it doesn't call for cheese, but I am gonna throw in some cheese in there and see how it comes out. And we're gonna use this cute little Dash mini waffle maker. How cute. I got it off of Amazon as well. Um, and so we just, let me turn this on so I can heat up. We just greased it with some ghee. And we're gonna use that to make our little our little tuna waffles. Um, all right, so let me mix everything together and we'll throw them in the waffle maker and we'll see. <laughs> about this you guys <laughs> I was like trying bits and pieces as I was making it and not too shabby but look how cute they're like these little mini waffles this thing gets really hot so the outside does get really toasted before the inside gets cooked but not too shabby let's go ahead and try this one mmm a little bit of like a dill sauce wow i am definitely making this again you guys nine out of ten nine out of ten just because i wish it was a little bit more spicy <laughs> all right you guys so it is now about eight o'clock i just finished prepping all of my things for tomorrow I have my lunch packed, which I packed some ground beef with rice, avocado, 
I'm taking a perfect bar and also some yogurt with peaches and blueberries. We're there until about one, two o'clock. Um, so that should hold me over until then. And I have my uniform here packed. Let's go and see. I have my undershirt, my socks, my scrunchie. It's around there somewhere. It might have fallen. Um, and my bag packed. I did just finish uploading some assignments that she had us do last week that I had totally forgotten about. But this is the clinical bag that I take. I actually got this in my fat fit fun box like a while ago and so i don't need like my big backpack really um i have my stethoscope in here which this is the case that i use just all black got it off of amazon and i have my stethoscope in here some scissors a pen light and a pencil i usually use a pen but i have that there just in case And I also have this clipboard. I love this clipboard. It has so much information on it that's super helpful. And it also folds. So I can just like put it in my pocket, do whatever I have to do. And I'm also protecting client confidentiality at the same time. Um, but yeah, she does have us like, do an assignment every time we're there. I am there Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my clinical days. And we are at the hospital. It's right next to campus. So that's cool we get to just park in our parking lot and like walk over to the hospital um but yeah we do have this checklist as she's having us fill out just like things that we should know how to do um if we get to try it and actually do it while we're there that's awesome but we should at least know something about everything on this list and how to do it for the most part we have like AccuCheck here, inserting an NG tube, medication reconciliation, uh, sub-Q injections, which I did get to do that last week. I was giving my patients their insulin. We have hourly rounding, Foley catheter insertion, intake output reporting, you know, all that good stuff. Some things are pretty simple. So we have to fill this out throughout our rotation. We also had us fill out this rounding report so we have to collect a proper report of our patient which my patient had AKI which is pretty cool because we are learning about AKI in lecture so it was good practice and also this medication template this is the ATI medication template which it's a drag because it's sometimes a lot of information but it is helpful it forces you to write everything about the med learn about it, remember it, and um, yeah, really helpful. You can find these online, just any ATI template. Uh, there's medication, the disease process templates, which all is pretty helpful. She had us fill these out last week, and so I just uploaded those. But yeah, so I take my little clipboard. And what else? I have my ID here, my sunglasses, and some hand sanitizer, which this one is running out. But I got this in my Fat Fit Fun box as well. I just got some new ones in my new box, so that's good. And some chopstick. Um, yeah, so I pack pretty lightly. Um, I don't really take much else. My safety glasses, I mean, I got this at the beginning of the semester and I never use them. They have the shields at the hospital that we have to wear if we have like some kind of isolation precaution that we have to follow. So, I mean, they're super cute, but I haven't been able to wear them. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we are all packed and ready to go. By the way, I do have a what's in my clinical bag video that I posted a while back, most of this stuff and more. I have the link on that video if you want to check that out. Um, either way, I will link some stuff for you below. I am going to try to go to sleep within the next hour or so because tomorrow I do have to be up early again uh, around 4.30 I'm aiming for. I do have to leave the house by 5.45. Wow. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night, you guys. And yeah, hopefully we have a great day at clinical tomorrow. I'll catch you guys then.
What's up guys? Happy Tuesday. So we just got back from clinical. It's about three o'clock now. Was there from 6.45 to about two o'clock and then drove home. And yeah, it was a pretty easy day today. Not too much going on. I had a 47 year old male patient. He was homeless and a left leg amputee. Had a history or has a history of blood clots. And so he did get admitted with a QPE and shortness of breath, chest pain. Uh, so we had him on heparin and he got sent down for an echo and was there um, pretty much uh, the rest of the time that we were there. So I was just really there charting with the nurse and filling out my assignment sheet and all that good stuff. Um, and then we had some lunch. We couldn't get report done because by the time we finished, they were using up all the conference rooms, um, people were having lunch and so it was kind of like chaotic and so she just sent us home and tomorrow we'll go over our care plan but yeah I am thinking about getting a workout in we will for sure be getting a workout in <laughs> yesterday was rest day but I do want to do like a little bit of upper body uh, today so we're gonna get that done but first we have a Princess Polly package here. I actually got it a few days ago, but I still haven't tried anything on. So I figured I'd try it on now and show you guys what I got. Nothing crazy, just like a, a couple of pants and a, a purse, I believe. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try this on and, and get our workout in. By the way, I also got some new scrub pants. Let me show you guys these. All right guys, so these pants we just got off of Amazon. I am pretty impressed, I am not gonna lie. They're just super comfy and light and soft. I like don't even feel like they're on really. And they do hug at the ankle, which I love. I've had some trouble finding pants that hug at the ankle and they're not like too tight around the calf and they like don't come up when I sit and these are just perfect. They are a little big at the waist, but they do tie around the waist as well. So I am not that mad at it. But yeah, I'm gonna link these down below for you guys if you guys are looking for some affordable scrubs because these were like 20 bucks, so not bad at all. They are, the brand is Adar. Yeah, I'll link them down below, um, but yeah. All right, so these are the jeans that we got from Princess Polly. You guys, not too shabby. You know, I have the hardest time finding pants that fit me nicely. like. They're either too small or too big or just like fit me weird, but I can work with these. There's some cute little mom jeans and they are having a huge sale right now, by the way, like their end of the summer sale. It's like 80% off a lot of cute items. So check it out. But okay, let's see what else we got. Oh my God, just stop it. Stop it right now. You guys, how cute are these? When I tell you that I have been looking for some leather pants like all my life and I can never find any that I actually like. Oh my gosh, how cute. They have this little string that ties around and ties in the back. But these are so cute and fall is right around the corner. And with this cute little purse, oh my gosh, how cute, you guys. I am so happy with my purchase. You guys have no idea. But yeah, that's all we got, nothing crazy. <laughs> we got the two pants and this cute little purse, which my birthday's coming up, so I might just have found a new fit, not with this top. This is my workout top that I'm about to work out in, but super cute.
guys. Happy Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday already. So I totally did not film yesterday. I am sorry about that. Mainly because I had no storage left on my phone. It wasn't letting me record anything. So I did have to spend some time just like deleting a bunch of old stuff and making some space. And partly because I was exhausted. Uh, yesterday I had a clinical and then went home and did get a workout in and took a shower and I was listening to some lectures and I knocked out listening to the lectures. <laughs> I was out by like 7.30. Out for the count. Um, but this morning I was up early again. I'm sorry, I hope that you can hear me well because I am driving. I did wake up early this morning to make myself like a quick little breakfast because I have a nail appointment right now and I'm still in good time but you guys would not believe what happened to me after class today. We actually got it let out like at 11.15 which I was like perfect because it takes me like 30 minutes to get to my nail appointment and I had to be there by 12 so I was like okay perfect. I was walking to my car and I realized that I did not have my keys and I'm like oh my god I lost my keys. I'm like seriously today out of all days that I have so much to do. So I went back, I went to the security office, and I found out if maybe somebody turned in my keys, they didn't have it. I didn't actually walk all the way to my car, though, when I realized I didn't have my keys. So I'm, like, freaking out. My friends were, like, trying to help me. They were like, oh, my God, where'd you put them? We were, like, we're tracking our steps. And I was like, you know what? Let me walk back to my car. I don't remember actually locking my door because my friend and I, like, arrived at the same exact time. So I saw her. I said hi. And I just, I don't remember actually physically locking my door. So I'm like, maybe it's in my car. I walked back to the parking garage and sure enough, my keys are hanging from my door, like literally inside the key slot of my of my door. I'm like, oh my god, it's like it's like a gift to whoever wanted to take my car. Like, here we go. <laughs> like, you're welcome. Oh my god, I I don't know where my head was at. I don't know, but so I ended up spending time looking for my keys. And so now I'm like rushing to my appointment. Um, but yeah, thank God that I made these little like egg muffins. This is my first time trying them. Look how cute. It's eggs, ham, and cheese, like a little bit of um, seasoning. And they're fire. And so I'm going to eat this. I did have like this yogurt earlier in class school had them like for free they were giving them out so i had a little parfait but i am like starving and then after my nail appointment i had to stop by the car shop and get some service done to my car so god knows when i'm gonna get home and so yeah these will probably hold me over and i also have a banana and some apples um but yeah lecture was cool today we um switched over to um, the hepatic system which I hate doing that because we have an exam next Thursday, but we're only getting tested on renal. And so, like, sometimes I, like, why are you introducing some new chapter when we still haven't gotten tested on renal? I mean, obviously, we're supposed to know it all regardless, but <laughs> I'm, like, I'm still trying to study for renal. But, yeah. Um, anyways, I'm going to go to my nail appointment now. Finally. Really looking forward to this. And, yeah go to the car shop, then go home, and today's a rest day, I'm not going to work out today, I'm probably just going to focus on studying and just finish listening to the old lectures from last week and Monday, and yeah, I'm not sure what else we have on the agenda, really just like make sure that I have food ready and packed for work tomorrow, because I do work another 12 tomorrow, but yeah, it's been a busy week, I'm going to keep driving, eat this, talking to you guys <laughs> and uh we'll catch you guys later all right guys so we're now back home i just made some lunch because your girl is starving but i do want to show you what i made in my last vlog i showed you guys like the sandwich wrap that i made from cheese <laughs> um and i wanted to show you the cheese wraps that i buy these are the Park Street Deli brand. I get these from Aldi, but you can get them anywhere. You can find different brands. They're called Cheese Folios. Um, on some packaging, you'll see Cheese Folios instead of Cheese Wraps. But today, I made some cheese chips. Let me show you. 
So I cut up one of the cheese wraps in like little triangles and made cheese chips to have with some ground beef, threw some avocado in there, and this is Greek yogurt. It's a very good substitute for sour cream and mayo as well, um, and a little bit of hot sauce. That hot sauce is actually very, very spicy, so I even think that I put a lot, and I like spicy, um, but we'll see. And sometimes I have all of these same things, but in like a wrap or a burrito or a taco of some sort, and that's why I love these because you can literally like do a bunch of things. I've even like cut them up in little squares and threw some flaky salt on top and they're like Cheez-Its. So good, you guys. So if you've never tried it, definitely do. It is 10 out of 10, bomb.com. So we're gonna go ahead and have some lunch and get to studying because <laughs> totally knocked out during yesterday's study sesh. Got a little bit done, but now we gotta get to work. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it is now already about 8.30. We got about three hours of studying done, feeling accomplished. What I like to do is listen to all of the lectures that I record during class. So we had class last week, Monday and Thursday, and then this past Monday, we finished the renal system, which is what we'll be getting tested on next Thursday. So I have pretty much up, up until next Thursday to study for our renal exam. Uh, this weekend, I am getting together with my friends. Uh, it'll just be Gabby and I on Saturday, I believe. We're going to study and go over the study guide that our professor sent us. And then Monday, all of the puffs are getting together, hopefully, to do just like a final study sesh between all of us, quiz each other, answer questions, all of that good stuff. But before I even hit the study guide or answer any questions or anything like that, I do like to re-listen to the lectures, read over my notes, add anything that I've missed. There's always something that I miss when I listen to the lectures again. So I always like to do that to just kind of get like a refresher. My professor is one of those that whatever he says during lecture, if he mentions it, he will test on it. There will never be anything on the test that he did not mention, which is what I've heard. I haven't tested with him yet, but that's what people say. And hopefully, you know, we can go by that. But yeah, um, I did have me about an hour ago, like a light dinner. I just had a protein shake and my last protein banana muffin. I wasn't really feeling anything heavy. I washed our face and finished prepping for tomorrow. I have my uniform out, my bag is packed, and I am packing my lunch right now. And <laughs> so I did boil some eggs. I'm gonna take these for my first break, maybe about 10, 30 or 11 usually. And then for lunch, whenever I have time to eat that, is uh, ground beef and rice and some avocado. In here, I also have some mozzarella cheese sticks. I cut one in half and I wrap them up with prosciutto. And so I like that. I usually eat that when I'm like on my way home because I'm like hungry and I just like want to eat something like fast. And that's usually really my dinner. And I have some apples and almond butter, which I usually eat towards the end of the night as well. What else do I have? I do have a banana that I'll probably have with my breakfast or like sometime in between. But I think that's it. I think that'll hold me over tomorrow. Usually I don't really have time to eat much and I'm not like starving because I'm busy throughout the day and I'm just like always doing something. So I don't think the hunger really gets to like hit me. <laughs> so this should be enough. Lunch is packed. All right, guys, so I am going to probably 
get to bed now. I am kind of tired and I do have to wake up again tomorrow, probably by five. I'm not gonna torture myself. I think that I can get ready in, in an hour without rushing. I don't like hopping out of bed and only having 30 minutes to get ready. I need at least an hour and I'll probably leave here by 6.15, 6.20. Good morning guys, happy Friday. It's about 6.40 a.m. I just got to work, I start at seven, but I do have to take a shuttle to my building. We have to park like across the street and we have shuttles that come pick us up and they come like every couple of minutes. So I will hop out and on the shuttle in just a little bit. But yeah, you know what guys, I totally forgot to mention happy september all the craziness and busyness going on yesterday i completely forgot that it was september 1st and today is already the second crazy 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 time is just flying but you know what this morning i couldn't help but feel so blessed and so grateful just with everything that has happened this last year everything that is coming my way especially after yesterday with the whole ordeal with my keys like so good and almighty my god is to always be watching over me always teaching me lessons whether it's the hard way or the easy way either way nothing bad ever happens to me it's always a lesson learned and it's just it's the outlook that you have to have to get through this crazy thing we call life <laughs> so feeling super good today it's gonna to be a great day i do have to finish some modules i think i was supposed to finish them within my first 30 days and i think this week i've already completed 30 days or next week i'm not sure but i'll probably finish those today during my shift and i started them last week and i was kind of like falling asleep at the computer so we brought a celsius today and hopefully that'll hold us over but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and hop out now and we're gonna go to work. But all right guys, we just got out of work. It's about 7.40. Gonna head home now. It was a crazy day. Just a bunch of stuff going on. <laughs> just as like you think you have a moment to just sit and take a breather, something else happens. And your phone rings and they call you for something. <laughs> but that's fine, we got through it. And it was a great day nonetheless. However, a patient did poop on my shoe <laughs> it was like a little splash technically it like dropped on the floor and like splashed back up onto my shoe but still I have to like spray the shit out of it with Lysol and I'm going to straight home to wash them they're in a bag in the trunk and I almost just want to leave them there but we're gonna wash them as soon as we get home and my boyfriend is also on his way to my house. We're just gonna have a chill little date night, maybe watch a movie. My mom and her boyfriend did leave to Europe this morning. So we have the house to ourselves. My brother will probably be there, but we're just gonna have a chill night and de-stress from the day. Um, but yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this video up today you guys i'm just gonna spend the weekend studying really tomorrow i'm going to my friend's house and we're probably gonna lay out oh this lady's leaving <laughs> so the light is gone um we do want to lay out maybe for like a couple hours in the morning if the day is nice it's been kind of rainy and study really for the rest of the day and monday we're gonna do the same thing so that'll be my labor day weekend and by the time you guys see this video labor day would have passed but i hope that you guys had a wonderful labor day weekend and yeah thank you guys so much for coming along with me this week i hope that you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already i hope that you guys are doing wonderful wherever you're out in the world remember thoughts really do become things when you put in the work so never stop believing never stop working the real flex is when you stay solid when things get tough next time.